The next technique we'll be demonstrating is creating the illusion of the diamond pattern. Now in order to create this illusion, you can use any of the techniques for painting that you see on this instructional video. What we'll primarily be focusing on is how to create the pattern itself. So keep watching the instructional video to learn how. The way we actually create this technique is really quite clever and incredibly fast and easy. In order to create this look, you're going to begin with regular contact paper. It's the same stuff that you apply on the inside of your drawers. It can be any color or pattern on the outside because we're actually just going to use this as a template. Now, what makes this so simple is on the back of this paper there are actually grids where it measures so you can determine exactly where to cut. The width on this contact paper is 18 inches. So I recommend that you cut these into 18 inch squares to prepare creating your templates for the wall. This is so easy to cut and keep nice, even, straight squares because of the lines that are on the back. Again, I'm cutting these into 18 inch lengths because they're 18 inches wide. Generally, you want to have at least a couple of rolls cut up into squares before you begin applying them to your wall. The first thing that you need to do is you need to create level lines on your wall because this will be your marking point for applying your contact squares. The first thing that you need to do is determine what corner of the room that you're going to begin. So right here, I'm going to work right up next to this edge. The amount of distance for the first line that I'm going to choose will be 12 and 5 eighths inches. So I'm going to take my level and measure out 12 and 5 eighths inches and make a little mark. I'll go ahead from that point my next line will be exactly 25 and a quarter inches and that brings me right here. From there on all the way the west, rest of the way around the room I will measure 25 and a quarter inches making a mark all the way around the room. Once I've done that, then I'm going to continue on with my level and go up to the marks that I made on the wall using my pencil and use my level making sure that the bubble's in the middle so we have a completely vertical line. I'm going to use my pencil and make a mark on the surface and continue doing that every mark that I've got all the way around the room. Now we're ready to take the backing off of the contact paper. Go ahead and peel back about half of it and take one of the corners. And what you're going to do is match it up on the line that you made with your pencil mark. Start at the top and kind of hold that down. Remove the rest of the backing. Press it down and continue laying the rest of your templates, peeling the back off and matching the corners on the pencil mark. Down below and all the way across the wall until you've used two rolls of contact paper. Okay, so now we've got our templates on the wall and we're ready to do our faux finishing. Keep in mind that you can do any technique to create this illusion. If you want to do wood graining or color meshing or glazing or any of the techniques on this instructional video, you're welcome to. In this particular situation, we're just going to do a standard glazing using a contrasting color from the wall. I dip my paintbrush into my glaze and I'm going to put it on the portion of the wall that's showing the base coat color. I'm going to take the woolly and just jab through it. Now notice that I'm kind of working with the direction of the contact paper because you don't want to push against it and allow the glaze or paint to seep under there. It's a very low adhesion contact paper and we'll go ahead and apply our glaze. So 
So now here comes the fun part. We're actually going to remove the contact paper to, to let us see the illusion that we've created. And it's pretty fun removing the contact paper. But when you do pull it off, don't just th discard it. Set it aside and reuse it as you travel around the room. Being that it's repositionable, there's plenty of adhesion on there to reuse it. I like to set it on the edge of a table where I know it'll stay flat so that I can grab it and place it again down the wall. So that's our fabulous diamond technique. Now it's really a dramatic look. It's wonderful for an accent wall or maybe even a dining room. Many different places you can use it in your home. So thanks for watching our diamond instruction video.